Hi guys, it's Maxwell High on Android.com, where we get <sighs> on Android every day. Anyway, I've got my Note 5 turned into a Galaxy S8. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so I've got Galaxy Note 5 running here. This is a T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5. First thing I want to show you is obviously the Galaxy S8 always on display. That oscillating thing is actually just my camera. Shutter speed, it doesn't actually undo that. So let me go ahead and show you. Uh, I've got always on display and boom shakalaka. Um, I've got settings Android 7.0 Nougat running on my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5. Now this ROM you can also install on international version uh, N920C. You can install the Korean version. I will actually show you uh, the installation uh, Roma installer. It's great. I've got uh, voice calls, everything working flawless. This is called the Kong Loy ROM. But the reason I really like it because it's not too you know crazy and it works with also my t-mobile note 5 you do have to install a voice fix to make the voice work but otherwise it works great changes your model number to g 935f this is an s7 edge ported rom so you get all the features of uh, s7 edge you'll see my baseband is t-mobile all right because this is an s7 ported rom you can do cool stuff like install s7 uh, sorry s8 launcher which i have here so you'll be able to swipe up um, this is the real S8 launcher off uh, Galaxy S8. If you've been watching all my videos, previous videos, I was all about, and I know some of you had Note 5 and you were having trouble installing uh, the launcher. Also got Bixby working flawless, gives you like a bunch of cards, right? Um, you can do all of that with this ROM. And I've, I've even got the S8 weather widget, which is really good. And of course you get all the edge features, right? Which is really nice. So because it's on that seven edge ported ROM, of course you get all of the regular Note 7 features, or it's also a Note 5 feature now. You now you can do the screen off memo. With the stock Nougat, you'll also be able to get it. But this ROM has pretty much, it's a hybrid ROM that will give you the best of both worlds. Also for the regular S Pen you'll be able to um, do translate all that good stuff, which is great. Um, so far I have zero problems with it. Performance is really good. Really, really love it. For root, you do have an option for Super SU or Majisk. My recommendation is to get Majisk option. Now to get Majisk working, you'll have to actually download a Super user. So after you install this ROM, make sure you go to the Play Store, install Super User. Uh, that way you'll be able to use Root. And then you can go ahead and use Magisk Manager to turn off Root. If you want to do things like uh, Pokemon Go or you want to run Android Pay. So I really like this setup. It's really good, pretty basic. And yeah, pretty much you can make your Note 5 into an S8 um, with all these parts we've got and they work flawless. All right. All right. You also get the Note 7 camera, which is nice, y'all. Um, you got all of these options. Wow. I didn't know there was actually dual camera. What does that do? Ooh, that's cool. Actually, I just found that out. <laughs> so you have a dual camera. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Also, definitely check it out. Let me go ahead and show you how to install this ROM. Again, you'll have to have a Note 5 that support it. If you have a T-Mobile, if you have international uh, N920C, if you have the Korean version, it should all work. So go ahead and copy over the files you need first, power off your phone, and you're gonna do volume down, oops, sorry, volume up, center home, power, hold it, let go of the power button, but keep holding down, volume up, center home for a little bit until you enter twerp recovery. Now, if you don't have, you don't have to have root to install this. If you don't have twerp, just grab Odin and twerp for Note 5, for your Note 5 model, install it, and then you can just keep doing this. So you could do it easily, even if you're not rooted. All right, go to wipe, do a factory reset. I'm not gonna do it because that will erase everything. It won't erase the contents of your internal storage. Go to uh, install, go to 
Kong Loy S7 Edge port ROM, confirmed to flash, and it will give you a graphical installer. Okay, hit next. Agree, next, next. All right, I do recommend full wipe. If you wanna change options, you can do dirty flash like I'm doing right now. It won't actually erase anything. It'll just update it. Here's all the models that are supported. N920T, the Canadian 920W8. Now for this model, you'll have to install the voice fix. I'll show you after this. Also, you can install an N920C IG. Also Korean N920SKL. Also N92008, the dual SIM model. And if you have a Edge Plus, you can also install in the Edge Plus. So there's a lot of models you can install in. Uh, for T CSC, go ahead and choose Vietnam, Canadian, or you could choose T-Mobile if you have T-Mobile. Choose appropriate CSC. Uh, Smart Manager, International China. Here is where you can choose Super SU Majisk. So I do recommend Majisk. That way you can disable root. Um, dual speaker mod. So this is basically loud speaker mod. It will turn your earpiece also into speaker. Make it super loud. S Pen features. Uh, if you want Google Apps, say yes. And hit install now. I'm not going to actually do it because I've already installed it. Once you install it, um, you can go ahead and reboot. For T-Mobile, uh, any T-Mobile, including the S6 Edge Plus, you will want to install the Nougat VOLT fix. All right, make sure you install that. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear calls when you make calls. That's pretty much it. Reboot, system, and boom shakalaka. You got a Note 5 that's gonna look, well, you got a S8 in your Note 5, basically. So that's how you do it. If you have a Note 5, definitely run this. You're gonna get best of everything. And also you're gonna be able to install all the S8 stuff. The only thing I wasn't able to get working was the soft keys, but you probably don't need it anyways. But I'll have links to all of this in my tutorial page, all the download. Um, all the installation instructions and if you have any trouble um, you can always leave a comment on this video on my site hit me up on Twitter all that good stuff or you can even hit me up IG Facebook Google Plus and as you can see here if you own a note 5 you can get all the cool features of s8 right there and I'll have an update this is just part one and once all the camera apps all the other apps are out have an updated video for the Note 5. If you want to receive updates on the Note 5 ROMs, make sure you guys sign up for my Note 5 newsletter. I'll put the link in the description below. That way you'll only get news about Note 5. I know some of you just don't have time to check out all my videos, but that way you'll always be notified when I have Note 5 videos. So sign up for that. That list is for you guys, um, so I can alert you uh, for Note 5 only. Anyway, have a great day, folks. My next video is going to be with the S6 and S6 Edge. Uh, same thing like here, but I'm going to go ahead and find the ROM that makes everything work. So you can turn it into a Galaxy S8. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.